Hello and welcome, Mark Homer here. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the past, I'm going to be quite nostalgic, I'm going to talk about what I want to do in the future and I'm going to give you some numbers along the way. So when I started in this sector I was very much focused on capital growth. Clearly capital growth is sexier to a lot of people, that's probably in reality truthfully where you make most of your money over the long run but the reality is that is not what you should be focusing on. Primarily, the priority is to focus on high cash flow models, i.e. higher yielding property. That tends to be in cheaper areas, that tends to be cheaper property. You certainly don't want to be buying some palatial two million pound house and renting it out. You want to be buying the smaller stuff in the, the areas that are sort of two up from the Bronx. In addition to that, it took me a while to realize it, but I needed to find models in those areas that enabled me to push the cash flow higher and higher. And that would be houses of multiple occupation, uh, later on serviced accommodation and other strategies which uh, mean that I'm not just getting my thousand pounds a month for a house, house of multiple occupation, I might be able to push that to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 a month. That's what keeps you safe. When interest rates go up, if you've got high cash flowing property, you tend to ride out those, those difficult periods. If you get issues in, in your portfolio, in your life or, or whatever it is, if you've got high cash flow, that keeps you safe. When I started out, I was focusing on, oh, where's the next area to make the most capital growth, which area of the world or which area of the country. You can never predict when and where the capital growth is gonna come from. The reality is that it will come over time, but you don't know what oil prices are gonna be. You don't know what you know wages are gonna do over the next year. You don't know what general prices are gonna do. Therefore, what level of inflation is gonna present. Therefore, what interest rates are going to be necessarily. You can have an idea, but you know, over the medium to long run, you just want to expect that capital growth is going to happen as it always does, but you never know how much is going to come and when it's going to come. The reality with cash flow is though, you can predict that before you buy the property. You can work out what it's going to rent for. You know what you're going to get every month as long as you put a good tenant in there. So he's a lot more in your control. It's in your gift and it's something that you can influence by buying the right properties in the right areas and then if you're going to do a conversion, maybe it's a house or maybe you're taking a commercial building, if you then convert those into maybe HMO, co-living or something with higher cash flow, that keeps you safe and it provides you with monthly money that you can then use to further invest or maybe spend on yourself and your family. So let me leave you with that thought and I will see you on the next episode.